one of the main challenges uh, it really well I think there are there are two big challenges that really spring to mind I think uh, the condition of the patient sometimes when they are referred uh, these patients can be quite sick uh, and they can appear um, to uh, decline quite quickly uh, and that can be a challenge uh, as a nurse being able to help balance that uh, advocacy and monitoring role and support role uh, with those patients um, I think also uh, once cells have been infused Patients become can become unwell quite quickly. Uh, their physical signs can change uh, in a matter of uh, a short matter of hours, sometimes minutes. Um, and being able to be responsive and uh, and accurate uh, during that time, I think it's also important that uh, our nurses are able to support patients during that challenging time when they're becoming unwell as well as well as their carers um you know uh, patients who are experiencing crs and neurotoxicity uh, can find that quite overwhelming um they uh, you know obviously some of them just don't feel themselves they'll say that they they don't they've woken up and they they don't feel like themselves today. Uh, and sometimes the early signs can be quite non-specific. So having nurses that are familiar with these patients, uh, that have built a relationship with the patient um, and have experience in this area and adequate training, uh, is really important to be able to provide safe care and support patients through this time. Communication with carers is also very important. So being able to provide sufficient information about how the patient is doing while being reassuring at the same time when that's appropriate. Patients will often be uh, transferred to uh, the intensive care unit, and that's well known. Uh, and again, those transitions between the intensive care unit and back to ward-based ca ward care can also be quite challenging for, for the patient. So again, having nurses that are aware of the enormity of, of that part of the process, again, is, is really important. You know, for us as nurses, those, those things, those, um, those processes can become quite normal but of course for our patient it'll be the first time that they've received this treatment it'll be unlike any any other version of, of this treatment that they've received uh, and so for them this experience is unique uh, and again we need to be mindful of that what can be routine for us as nurses is, is a unique experience for our patients.